Hey, what's going on guys? And I'm bringing you another money-making guide today. And this should be number 20 if I'm counting right. And here's some of the requirements for it. You need to do Lunar Diplomacy and Dream Mentor to unlock the spell. And you need to have some Astral Runes and an Earth Staff so you don't use so many Earth Runes and 71 Magic. All right, so let's go ahead and go to any bank. It doesn't really matter where. I just decided to go in Yanel because it's a quiet bank. Won't have anybody bothering me there. All right, so you have to bank the hunter kit every time you cast the spell because you cannot have more than one hunter kit in your inventory. So that's pretty much gonna be a lot of banking, but this is going to be actually very good magic experience and you actually make money doing it. So it's kind of a win-win situation. It's actually not the best money-making guide. Like I think it's like 350K at the end or so. Um, I'll bet pretty much be able to see at the end of the video, but you get 42,000 magic experience as well so I mean you're training magic and getting money so for people that are wanting to get you know 94 mage or something now we don't have splashing a lot of people did that so gonna need to find some new guides and yeah this is actually a really good way to get to 99 because you'll make a ton of money doing it Alright, so I'm basically opening up the last of the Hunter Kits, and I ended up with 608 of everything. This took an hour for me to do, and let's go ahead and head over to Veron. Now let's go ahead and sell all the stuff, and you're pretty much going to get most of your money on these Impling Jars. That's pretty much where you're going to get most, like, all of your money, actually. You'll get some from the Box Traps, and everything else I wouldn't even really consider. Don't really count on it to sell. I got lucky with some of the stuff, and it sold instantly, but... Even if it does sell, a lot of it only sells for about 1 GP each, and that's like 2K for all the like 2,000 items that you have, so. Alright, so I waited about two hours, and I just did some Slayer, and I came back and everything had pretty much sold. Like I said, there's some of the stuff, like the new swans aren't selling at 1 GP each, and even if they did, it's like, that's another 600 GP. That's like hardly anything, it doesn't really matter. But as you can see, I put in the calculator how many Astral Runes it took, which was 1,216, so I'm going to go ahead and buy them back. And the 365k is how much money I made in one hour doing this. And I got 42,000 magic experience as well. So this isn't like really the best money-making guide, but you are making, or not making, you are getting some magic experience, so that's pretty much the bonus for this guide, so... I mean, everybody has a different own method of making money. Some people have better money-making methods, and some people want experience. You know, I have a lot of videos where I actually go to just a shop and buy their stuff, but you don't get any experience, and a lot of people don't like that. So I kind of want to bring out more guys that give experience as well. I'm not going to stop with the shop guys or some guys that don't give experience. If they give a lot of money, then I definitely got to release it for you guys too. But that's it for this video, and I should be coming out with another one around sometime next week, and that's it. See you guys.